a lot of people when they watch my videos seem to assume that he is Muslim and he's not. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and if you're new here, I make videos all about intercultural relationships, faith and Arab culture. So today I wanted to talk about a misconception that I think a lot of people have about the Middle East and that is whether or not there are Arab Christians. Most people stereotypically know that there are lots of Arab Muslims because they are the majority, but there are actually a large population of Arab Christians. If you look back in history, Christianity actually started in the Middle East, so it makes sense that there's still a population of Christians who live in the Middle East. So the largest populations of Christians can be found in Egypt, Cyprus, and Lebanon, but there are actually Christians in most of the other Arab countries as well, even if it's only a minority or a very small number. And when I refer to Christians, predominantly they are Orthodox or Catholic Christians, though there is a smaller population of Evangelical Christians as well. Unfortunately, the history of Christianity in the Middle East is that there has been a lot of persecution. For example, around the time of World War I, during the end of the Ottoman Empire near Turkey, there was a large-scale genocide of Armenian Christians living in the area. They believe around 3 million or more Armenian Christians were killed at that time, and it's truly heartbreaking that almost an entire race of people was wiped out simply for what they believed and the people group that they were a part of. And even more recently, ISIS in the Middle East has specifically targeted Arab Christians trying to threaten and execute them and convince them to abandon their faith. So one of the reasons that I wanted to make this video is because my husband is Jordanian, he's Arab background, and a lot of people, when they watch my videos, seem to assume that he is Muslim, and he's not. He and his whole family have been Christian for generations back, and by Christian I mean they were Orthodox and Catholic, though my husband actually became an Evangelical Christian when he was about 17. Felt like God was leading him to do that and I'm also evangelical Christian as well. That was one of the things that was a foundation in our relationship is that we both believed the same things and wanted to serve God in the same way and it's one of the things that I find most attractive about him and that I love deeply about him. So I just wanted to clear up that there are Christian Arabs in the Middle East and even in the US and additionally that my husband is one of those Arab Christians. Please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. And if you like this video and find it interesting, please give it a thumbs up so that I know to make more of these videos. Until next time, 